while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. Yeah, it happens. How could that not raise suspicions? You, you're the one, and you're going looking too deep into things. You're the one. What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. That would be the principal. He actually he might have ties to criminals with how he acts a lot of the times. They turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Oh. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Dang, tell it how it is, Anne. I I know. You know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? Nani? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. I get to take your phone and throw it down the stairs. <laughs> she wants to make a deal. Um, hmm. Deal? Or no deal? There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. I don't think it's so simple. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible? Well, I just we like to hear you out. I mean, what can we do? However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Well, then our business is you can't. We can't do anything then. You wasted Let's our time. Continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Uh, sorry, the roof is banned. It's locked. It's just unable to access that, really. So you accept my offer, that is. Ooh, she's a feisty one. <sighs> she's turning into a real pain. I mean, it's a pain because you caused all this, you and your loud mouth. It's really all your fault. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Yeah, you're literally shouting at the top of your lungs. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know. You were so much louder. I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? We should only talk in text from I now on. Dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. I 100% agree. But I don't think they will take it that way. I mean, they could have just been talking about anything. We're just being pretend phantom thieves. As simple as that. What else are they going to do? That, there's no way they could prove our methods. Exactly. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Hmm. Yeah. It's possible. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Yeah. I don't want to get in more trouble. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. I totally don't want to deal with the police. I mean, I'd, I'd have to live on the streets. Uh, I, I don't I mean, to start. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yeah, I have a feeling she's going to be the next party member. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, let's not scream our public name out in public anymore yeah, in the middle yeah. of school. My bad. So, we doing this? Don't got much of a choice. It's our only choice. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. Yeah. What could she be? Don't want to cause too much. She either wants in or we're gonna get in big trouble. Things are about to get bad. It's rainy season. Do we gotta do what she says? Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. What do you do? Heart the student council president would want us to change. Doesn't don't matter to me. There might be a reason behind who she picks, right? 
I wonder who it is. I'm curious myself. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. Don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you single me out? I ain't dumb. He most certainly is. Hey. Be careful. She's a shrewd one. We'd best be prepared for anything. Did want to go search that area if I can. Uh Yeah, this thought be something going down here. Let's go check it out. Hey, hey. We have a target we haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony Alley and gather some info on this man. Is this Harmony Alley? I'd hmm? These guys got some info. That old man hasn't come here yet. I'm wonder why I'm no wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but he makes so much trouble. Old man making trouble. Do you think they're about the elderly man causing trouble in Shicho Jijo or Joji? Hey, this ain't no place for a young like you. You looking for someone or something around here? Elderly troublemaker. Oh boy, so even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers and starts fights. When he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to mooch money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. Got a name? Oh yeah, that old man's always shouting his name over and over. Heiji Ono. That's the name. But you know, I can't be that hard on him. It's around my dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish he didn't have to hang didn't hang around here, but stay warmed with his family instead. You might sound awfully sympathetic, but I you, I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. Let's go. Oh, you you have your target? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's somewhere. At least we got that info, at least. Who's this over here? Oh, he's here. Hmm. Guess we could. This is ridiculous. I mean, we're here, might as well, right? Hi. Uh, good evening. I want to talk to you, but since we have the time, why don't we go play billiards together? It's not that difficult. We can chat and play at the same time. How about it? What do you want to do? All right, let's do it. I'm glad I asked. I was a little worried you'd turn on, turn me down. Well then, let's get going. All right, I'm gonna show him what's what. Good to hear. Billiards champion. I'm not, but uh, we'll do our best. Found myself with some free time, so I was hoping I'd find someone to play against. You always seem so busy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm not busy all the time either. If anything, my policy to spend my spare time in a meaningful ways. Now let's play a game. You've played pool before, right? Ah, uh, nine ball, eh? Oh man, he's pretty good. <laughs> what? This guy's crazy. He sunk like three balls. Oh, else, yeah, he hit the he hit the nine ball. Yeah, 
if you get the the nine ball on the the break shot, uh, you win. It was just a coincidence. Of course, this game won't count. Uh, let's start over. Uh huh. Hmm. Oof, bad move on my part. If you get this next one, I'm in trouble. Dude, let me aim the shot. What? No. Oh. Poor. Not dang, that was an impressive shot. Not bad, everything's riding on your next shot though. How will you handle this? Shoot very... Oh, no, I gotta go for the power shot. Well, let's see your skills. No, too much. Too much force, I bounced off the cushions. Dang. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, no, no. Dang. That was a close one, though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose as your senior, huh? Dot, 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 dot. Something seems off. Thank you, that's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from the other people. Guess you can call my detective's intuition. Haha, <laughs> kidding, of course. Apologies, a break ace. Is something the matter? Aren't you left handed? Huh? That's not bad. I'm honestly surprised impressed you noticed. That's right. This one's my dominant hand. I switched hands during the game. It's got nothing against you. Going all out against a junior just seems a bit What? A bit what? A goosh? Gu gu This <laughs> uh <laughs> Gauche? What is that word? I've never seen that. That's crazy. But I confess, you've surprised me. I'm rather dexterous with my right hand. I can't even use chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. I see a lot of things. Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh, so those glasses are just for the aesthetic then. Or are you being metaphorical? You're the hard one to read sometimes. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. A chance to reveal one enemy's affinity at the start. Yes! I like that! I like that! I like that one indeed. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. All right, man. I got you. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Thanks for coming along today. The little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Barely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. To think you'd be an interesting influence on me. If you're so inclined, we could go out again sometime. Sure. Thanks, I'm honored. Well, I suppose I'll reach out to you next time something comes up. See ya. Yes. Want some cash? I've got a job you could do. You know about the Phantom Thieves form? People said when they made the crest there, it got granted. Really? That sounds super useful. Come on, pay up. You understand the position you're in, right? Ooh. Alright, here goes nothing. Hey! Oh, it's this woman again. Woman with camera. Morning, going to school now? It's heading home while the morning sun is too bright. Uh, what about your job? Nope. Pulled an all-nighter, journalist Ichiko Oyaha? O Oya? Works around the clock, you know. Well, you work hard in your studies. Uh, sure, lady. I don't know who you are. 
but sure. Well, here goes nothing. I was thinking you might not show. Well, I, uh, we like to be fashionably late. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. A what? <laughs> mafia. Hey. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's some dangerous business. That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. Those dank fish. Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. I see. They force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Uh, they sound like pretty bad people. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> they primarily target juveniles. I'm no juvenile. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. Well, we can't do nothing without a name. Being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? That's a uh, the tall order. You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. I uh, see you say that, but without the information, we can't work. Or is Akechi Kun correct when he says you act without justice? Oh, pulling that one out, huh? Did you say something witty back at her? Okay, I got, I got this, I got this. Give us details, something witty. I knew you were going to say that. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. She must be like, why did you just say something witty? That's <laughs> all the information I have. You have two weeks. Two weeks? Once that is passed, it's not a lot of time, to be honest. I have to the police and to the school. Man, we get blackmailed every single other week, dude. This is crazy. You don't let me down. Well, really had the upper hand in that exchange. What do we do? I mean, we have to, or we're we're dead. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Oh, we got two weeks. That's not a lot of time. Come on, we should get in touch with you. Fourteen so days. This is gonna be a fast palace. We gotta work quick. <laughs> Whoa, going back. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Yeah, her sister. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? I never said her name. How would you know it? You don't believe me? You seem upset. I'm not. You're upset. Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. She was in on it. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. Very well, then. <sighs> I'm so mad. Same. The mafia. Hmm. I mean, that's gonna be a hard uh, cookie to egg to crack. Can we really do this? Uh, probably. <laughs> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. We need a name or Isn't something. This is a prime opportunity for us, though. We're in huge trouble. And we're on the clock. We only got a short amount of time, too. Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. But we've punished someone who's truly oh, bad. If we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right. That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. Well, I don't know if we want that to happen. What do you say, leader? 
This proves our justice. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Well, we, we got a lot of work to do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. We gotta move, move, I'll move. Ask Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. And I'm gonna do something. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. School? You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I did. I'll back you up. I just we just kind of ended up there. <laughs> that wasn't really right. Let's get my back choice. At the end of the week, once we've got all our info. End of the week? We, we barely have any time at all. In touch with you guys later. What the heck? What am I supposed to do with that? We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Oh, yeah, sure, man. Well, What's up? It's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. Oh, that, uh, that's fine. So Let's go, man. So heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Sure, man. Do your painting. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. Yeah, it, it does look nice. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. Looks good. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Oh. What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, What's going on, man? I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. All right, man. I got you. What's going on, man? Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. I mean, I'll start. I'll, I'll artists go through that. Yes. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. But at the current moment. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. The more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. Mm. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. That's something you, <laughs> your master would have said. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? If you can't perform the arts, you Such can't go to school. Such are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Yeah, that's gotta be rough. To lose my scholarship. I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. well. You got no money. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I see. I wanted nothing but now? more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires That's rough. are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. Yeah, he's going through some emotional turmoil. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. No, oh, come on now. So tough on yourself, man. Come on. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a I sin see. of sorts. I mean, I, I can try and help what I can, but, uh... No, I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Uh, yeah, you, you got talent. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. It's beautiful. An incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet mm. remains elusive to me. I guess we're gonna need on. Why is that it's the only ask? way. It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. I mean, everyone's soul is a bit different. If my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. 
What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. Hmm. To be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? I, yeah, then I'll do what I can. Change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'll do what I can. You would? W wonderful. Oh, teammates, of course. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. So we better get start cracking. Hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. Hmm. I must go now. My curfew approaches. Well, I'll help you when I can, man. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Hey, no problem. Rain, huh? I hate the rain. It always brings me down. So I checked online, and people are talking about it all over. Now, in my expert opinion, Lidlita in Class 2D is guilty. From our class? Wait, start at the beginning. What's she guilty of? It's probably she's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because some of, of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? You try asking him about it on? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although I've rarely talked to Ida Kuhn before. But counting on you to, to back me up if something happens. Hey, no worries. I'm on the case. Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamaki-san's world-class, world world wonderful acting. Shot it. A Takamaki. My bad. Whoops. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to the so-called boss. I leave this to... Yeah, leave it to them. You're both missing the point! Hmm. Um, did you get some new armor, perchance? Okay. Yeah. Put one of those in there. One of those. Uh, sure. Run the wash. It's important, we gotta do the laundry. Indeed. Whoa! Oh, we got some interesting things there. Let's we'll check them out. As much as I would like to have done anything else, I said I had to do it. You gotta do your laundry. Hey! Finally, we got a seat I can read the book again. Holy man! Uh, let's give us a bit another read to this book. Hmm? The virus protection and inducing the newest software. Ah, yes, of course, my favorite read. There's danger foot in the internet world. Indeed. Oh, well, that was uh, quite a read. Medjud Menace. They were like gentlemen thieves targeting evil corporations, but now they're just glory seeking hackers. Sort of like us phantom thieves, you know, that nobody knows exactly who they are. Give me the knowledge! Three knowledge? Yeah. That's still not enough? Are you kidding me? 
That's actually crazy. The rumors are pretty terrible. Do you think all that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think it had anything to do with me, but there are even victims in my class. Oh, I know all about that. These guys supposedly come asking if you want an easy, high-paying job. But then if you say yes, you get dragged in some real shady stuff. The teachers, our student council preds do something about it, though. People are in real worried. I talk about that posting? I wonder if she was serious about it. I heard she knew about Kamoshida and the sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. Hmm. Good info. Beep, beep, beep. That leader guy's here. I'll try asking him about it. Good luck. Leave it to me. That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Alright, we're moving in. Nijibakun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. You expect the student council president to take care of a mafia? Do something yourself, principal. Who knows, you might be in on it yourself. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. It's all true. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. Yeah, your school reputation about the tank even harder than it already was. Received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Your, your school's falling apart. You're probably partially to blame, honestly. Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered... You'd be out of a job, and honestly, that's probably a good thing. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Yeah, like she's gonna resolve a mafia boss? Like, what do you... What do you expect's gonna happen, dude? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. To this guy, maybe you do something, dude. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, yeah, okay, you and I will dude. both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? That that might not be a bad thing. I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Yeah, this guy. Uh, kids these days. So I had a bill over at a convenience store, and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide, bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know what a Hirobumi Ito is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japanese economy. Hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. Oh, jeez. I don't know Japanese bank statements. Are you kidding? Between paper bills and coins, which one is issued by the government? Neither? Both? Maybe both. You can't... You can't just print money. Everything's you have to issue it by the government. It's not like there's gonna be enough things in circulation and the money gets destroyed over time. You gotta have both. I mean, but I think is Japan based on the gold standard? It might be a little different from but uh, I don't know. Uh both? <laughs> what the heck, man? Paper bills are printed by the bank and coins are issued by the government. I I think that's different here. So, how would I know that about Japan? Yeah, I, I think that it was, I just... Uh, I don't know, man. Originally, the government both... So I was right, they did. Originally. 
However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. Yeah, that's why it's regulated, though. You don't just keep printing money. Because to a certain extent... You, but... See, it's different in America, where we're not on the gold standard. We don't have set limits to what we say. We just say, this dollar is a dollar. And we can just say that. Which, it's, it's kind of, the whole world economy is in shambles anyway, so... What am I even talking about? Independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since... Ah, oh, jeez, how am I gonna know any of that? <laughs> Definitely, the US banks aren't just printing their own money here. That's not how it works. Coins, which don't have as much of enough... Also, because our coins aren't anywhere similar to how Japanese coins. You... The, you can use coins a lot more effectively. I think. Because, you know, you have like a hundred yen coin that's a dollar. The best coin we got is 25 cents. You know? It's a little different. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. Yeah, whatever, man. At least he didn't throw anything at me. Hey. I see Lady Ann's going to talk to Ida. Yeah, I'm we'll back her up. The air is so muggy. Let's go. The blackboard. Hmm? Oh, dang it. And so I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kun. <sighs> oh boy. My help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um. Now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is. Oh boy, this is awkward. This is going south fast. Uh, oh, Francois. Francois. Huh? My French? Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. This is just the worst. It's not convincing at all. Poor Francois. About me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come Probably. On, talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. No, oh, my this this is so you know bad. Something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was rumors. it Mishiyama who? Nishiyama? Oh. Uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's. That's none of your business. She got the back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Time to push. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. How am I ever gonna find this guy? Do you have a minute? Actually, uh, yeah. Something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Can I have ten bucks? <laughs> Where's Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry. I don't know where he is right now. Dang. He usually stays. But what about that ten bucks, so though? I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll never I'll find him. around while you're looking for him. Well, Jeez. I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Ooh. I think I do, actually. She's got the lowdown on everybody. Sonic, you're in the present. President Nijima is keeping an eye on you. Good counsel is on edge. Hurry up and do you have anything else you want to ask about? Yeah, Nishiyama. Nishiyama kun, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library's just on the floor above this one. <laughs> it's that easy. Now I can finally go to the bathroom over here. What do you. What do you mean? I don't need to use the rep. What? I, I can't believe this. Guess I don't need to use the bathroom. 
How can I be so careless? I at least I found the library. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? What's this guy? Nishiyama, that's me. Ah, oh, good to know. You're a transfer student, right? You need something? Actually, yes. Job? Are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something, Ida. Wait. Are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Yeah, it's not good. Tell me what you know. Give One me more details. Went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. Okay, interesting. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. All right, all right. He wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? I, I was so scared. I ended up going home alone. Interesting. But according to Ida, it only takes ten minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Hmm. Ida started spending Anything a lot else? of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. Hmm. The mafia. Don't ask questions. Just you know, pick up a package, put this box on this table, you know, s carry this mail somewhere. You know how it is. Little small things that wouldn't go noticed by an average person. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? That sounds about right. Have you found out anything, Dark? I've tried looking into this high paying part time job myself. People seem to be taking and talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. That means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. Yes, it is. Ten minutes is good for people who don't stand out and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Indeed. Fraud drugs. The legal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely yeah. fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Dangerous business. Did you meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my way on my own anyway. Rumor has it he got involved with some kind of suspicious part-time job. That job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking in drugs, I think. I hear they ask you to take part in a, da a down on Central Street in the broad daylight, even. This won't be pretty. <laughs> I'm a professional. I I know about the busts. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. All right, let's move. At least we found the library. Coming through. Well, that's not good. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. She's still doing that? Alright, take over for her. Put <laughs> him let's hold his like grab his shoulder, put him against the chalkboard like, I know about the drugs. <laughs> Give it up. Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Oh, but I know. Nishima told me everything. Bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. <laughs> oh, we coming in with a clutch save. Here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Sounds good. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? 
Isn't that normal? You're working for the you mafia. Doing? You're a pizza smuggler. <laughs> How do you? I've only told one person about that. It doesn't take a genius to figure this out, man. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I mean, that's probably some good money. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that I much. I was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. And then once they get you once, now they can hold that against you. Because they could plant stuff, they could get you, and then send you off to, to pull the, get the police involved when you're trying to deliver some stuff, and have you taken out of the picture. And since you're in possession, uh, you're, you're done for. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? I'm a genius. They threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. Because now they got a hold of you. Yeah, pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose yep. what I did unless I paid them off. That sounds about right. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just going to use my job to blackmail me too? Nope, I'm going to help you out, man. Never. I see. I'm just trying to help. Even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything I'm not you interested. want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Free to go, man. How'd it go? Did I not acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. They just searched Shibuya drugs and I got a ton of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them. That must be what I heard people talk about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite open during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would have do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day while the police will be more cautious at night. Ruji, you're in, over in Shibuya right now, right? You see anyone like that there? Yeah, but Central Street, it's tough to tell though. I mean, there are just way too many people. Goddamn rain isn't helping either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do? Let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately then. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is, too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight. Gotcha. Now the evening. We're already in the evening time. <sighs> Uh, I thought I, I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get many customers when it rains. The cash treasure's gonna run dry at this rate. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes, it is highly likely that the part-time solicitor is somehow related to the Mafia. If we tail him, he may lead us straight to his boss. He talked to Ida and Nishima over on Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that is where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go? Me. Yeah, that's probably for the best idea. I don't stand to stand out too much. I'll take that as a compliment. I have no objections. We'll leave this to you. Tracking people and using that as blackmail? These bastards are true cowards. Kinda of scary to think people like that are all around us in the city. Well, gotta brace ourselves for up against a serious criminal here. Oh. 
Hello, Master. It's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you... I need to ask you, can you request me? The request fee is 5,000, but I'll promise I'll do a good job. Alright, we'll request her. Worth it. What, really? You'll request me? Okay, I'll be make sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. I love cleaning shabby, I mean sophisticated rooms like this. It just gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll help Lily be covered in dust. But then doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? It does, it's truly awful. Aw, <laughs> oh, Master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for a shabby chic feel, ya, yeah. you know? Now cleaning is complete. Now yeah, we could really use a paint job up here. I mean, it's, uh, there's not much cleaning to do in here. I, I, at least I wouldn't think. I'm not allowed to work overtime during the weekdays, so I rush my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. I'm surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? <laughs> what kind? What kind of weird things? Can't say I wasn't. Absolutely not. What, what, you're making assumptions. Uh, what are you trying to say? Hmm? Uh, gosh, I, I'm just a maid, so I don't really know. Anyway, let's stay under control and maintain a distance for the sake of our relationship. Oh, I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. Thank and before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. You need money? Well, uh... You know... It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... Yes, n n no, I, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Uh... Oh, uh, wrong number! <laughs> Excited to ask you out of this blue, but... Do you happen to have, uh, 100,000 yen I could borrow? Actually, I do. Oh, wait, never mind. Owing my, my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you, you may have some money, but be mindful how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting on services like this. This is all for you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. How for you're my student. If so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler after all. Hey, level two. Alright. Uh, three more to go. I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Oh, well, well. I gotta need to get some more money. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, Master? You have the wrong number. Uh, what the hell. <laughs> 
Is this the hard sell? What? No, I just wanted to hear your voice, Master. No, you got the right idea. Still gotta hit my quotas for the week. Ugh, oh, sorry. Part of the job. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just gonna drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Uh, well, I uh, hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye-bye. Jeez. Must be rough. Well, so time to cute. play the role of delinquent. Train headlines. Shady drug deals in Shibuya. This is the same ordination behind both these and the extortions. Among the phishing scams and that, that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant factory fire. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. Yeah, something weird happened in food service before, right? Some employee cooked. The, what? One of. Hey, wait a second. Is that a reference? To. S s wait, what's the name of it? Food. I'm uh, Food Wars. I was trying to think of the the Japanese name, but is that Food Wars. That man was always getting naked after all. These extortions and scams. This world's really messed up. Yeah, indeed it is. Sanijima arguing the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? I hear her older sister's involved in the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too? Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Yeah. Well, let's do it. We got a job. Okay, we're all here. Time to make a house call. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. We gotta look all delinquent-like. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We'll go look at some, like, magazines looking for jobs. Try to grab their attention. Let's, we have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab them by the tail. Exactly. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Yeah, you guys got my back, right? Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. I got you. Also, I'd like to check right, my. Let's go. Just as we planned. I guess we won't be checking anything today. We end up running into the mafia. Be ready for anything. I'll pull out my shiv. Focus. I'm just the average everyday student, just doing my thing. Ho, oh, ho, oh, hum, hum. Aha, they should, they, surely they wouldn't be in the DVD rental store. Of course not. Oh, well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? Hope something comes of it. I'll be mm. counting on you. Is she following us? Nah, it can't be. Mm. Ah, yes. Let me talk to the cops. Again, nothing to report. There are many people failing, or falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear, they would appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, they blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. We don't get this information. People will say the police are useless. Uh, a little too late for that one, buddy. Oh. It's no time for detours, unfortunate. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? Oh. We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go to We're having a sale! We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My mm. boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? Bespec... Bespectiled student. Price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. What kind of deals we talking, buddy? Well, that's I'm not interested. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. <laughs> 
man wearing hat. Drunk kid, you don't see him like you don't see me guys like me very often. Want a part time job. Huh? Is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've been here long, try to talk to someone else. That ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's here today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. Maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station. Let's go take a look over there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's not where the train station is. I have something. Karaoke. Oh, we definitely got to do that later. That's my job. It's the movies. I guess to go back to the train station, right? Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all this. Well, let's just ignore her if we, she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things going on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm try, st trying to... I'm going to try stalk staking out the underground walkway. Oh my gosh, that was a weird sentence. Fine, then I'll go check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get... Uh, there from on the underground. I will gather more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We yeah, we got our lives on the line. Let's look for that homeless man. She's really following oh. us. Girl, come on. You seem to be working hard. Did you find any clues? Hmm. Trying to find a homeless person. That's a good idea. They know a lot of what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but uh, I would bet there's some mm. in the underground area. Mm. Alright, that work. Oh, can I check my... This, what do you mean there's no time for detours? There's always time for the lottery. Alright. This guy, I've seen this guy quite a few times. What's that scary look you have on your face? If you have something to say, just, I mean, you just say it. Part time job? Huh. You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice don't do it. You'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. The Mafia's evil, I tell ya. They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area and around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use weird phrases, code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come to you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? You found anything? Maybe a little. Ah, oh, so you've grasped something already. As expected of someone like you. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. It's probably some guy near the access way he's talking about some kind of strong drugs. Not count, I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting high-paying jobs in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables and something about snow tomorrow. I'll go observe, just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. 
I mean, down here is probably right, right? I think it was be down here. Central Street. It's somewhere. I guess we somehow ended up back up here. You again? I take it you found your guy at the station. Please stop talking to me. I don't want to get involved with this shady business. Oh, we tried. Time for detours. Of course not. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> well, he's doing his job. Go back to the station square. Five hundred thousand yen for just one video? You may even get more if you're more popular. Tell me more. Huh? You want to be in one of our videos? Guess I can't say there's no demand, but our company only hires girls. Sorry. Yeah, it's best we don't worry about what they're doing. That's a that's a different line of work. This bill. 10,000 at HQ. Some kind of code or something? Seems a little suspicious. Yeah, a lot of people have been having weird conversations like that online. Hmm. Underground walkway. Let's give it a, a little peek. I mean, a mall. This would be a good place. I think, at least. Uh, this is difficult. I don't know if I'm ever going to find anyone. Don't need that. I feel like I would have found something here if it was truly here. Dang. This underground walkway is our best shot. Back to Central Street. Dude, I'm gonna get so freaking lost. Cause get Intel and Mafia, head to the ta Take You building, head to the back alley. It's the mall again. Thank you. No need. You distract me from the ever well, prison board and that mafia has been trouble for me too. And it's best you keep a low profile before I can start noticing you. I, mean, I was I thought I was at the back alley, man. I'm Head to the Taikyu building?
Yeah, I think it's a different kind of model on. You might want to stay out of that business. We can try Central Street again. See it. But I'm not getting any luck. Hmm? Oh, these these jokers. Maybe if I find a new job, you know, many opportunities for making quick money. You need those sneaky guys in the back alleys? You probably have to swindle some kids. I can never be a pusher. I don't want to get arrested. Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? No. Uh, Shibuya's a big place. Well, you aren't wrong about that. I swear I was down here earlier. Hey. You two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. Ah, it yeah, seems interesting. we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Uh, actually, I, I sell the many great gems that I find in palaces for a high price. <laughs> By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Violence is not the answer. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty well, sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Let's just say it openly in public. I think we should get some proof before we do that. That's not how I work. He's saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. You're not as smart as you think, you are, Makoto. The streets way, are where I live. Thanks for standing up for me. Hey, it's what I do. I'm going to go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well too. I mean, when you're in this kind of line of work, you gotta have good subordinates. No the police are having trouble catching him. But the police are really just down the street. I don't know. They're right there. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. I mean, it's all or nothing at this rate. Well, we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. Thanks. How about I want to meet up? It's not. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you think it's safe, though? We just have tons of people, so there's chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let's disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we make it a car Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We talk on a private, and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, that must be what the they call the hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? It's happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke. Gotcha. Let's move. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. That's creepy. How'd you get my number? For earlier. Hey, it's no problem. How'd uh, you get my number? Uh, is that abuse of your student council I power? I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so... How'd you... How'd you get the... How did this number even get to the school? Bye. Aha. Uh -huh. Well then. Are you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking yes. Of, some girl called looking for you around noon. 
Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She's